national crime statistics have been released and we're joined on the line by Kate Wilkinson, who's a researcher at Africa Check. Kate's going to help us make sense of what we've heard. Now, Kate, before we get into it, won't you help us to understand the difference between reported crime statistics and the crime rate or ratios? When we look at the reporting on crime stats in the coming weeks, or we look at the numbers ourselves to try and understand it, it's important to understand the two terms or the two ways of pre presenting crime stats which the police and the media will be using. The first is that crime will be presented in, by the number of cases which were reported. And this shows us during a calendar year how many times someone, for example, went to the police station to report that they had been assaulted. The second way in which crime is reported and presented to us is in a ratio form, which is sometimes called the crime rate. And what that does is it takes into account the whole population of the area, whether you're looking nationally or you're looking at province, and it looks at the population, how many crimes have been committed, and then does a calculation to see how many crimes were committed per 100,000 people. And that's very useful for us because it allows us to draw comparisons between areas. For example, you'd be able to look at the population in, say, the Western Cape versus the population in Kusuma Natal, the number of murders which were committed in each of those provinces, and see where someone is more likely to be murdered. It allows us to take into consideration those, those differences so that we can draw fair and accurate comparisons. 